My name is Anna McNuff and I'm about to do a 2,620 mile run barefoot, which is 100 marathons. So I thought about what kind of challenge I could take on that would really, really scare me. And this thought popped into my head, why don't you do a barefoot run? And I thought, you can't do a barefoot run, that's absolutely bonkers. And then I thought, well, if it feels bonkers, that, and then that is definitely the right level of challenge. And I'm gonna be keeping you updated every single step of the way, every week or so, you're gonna get a full rundown on what's going on. The highs, the lows, the ugly bits, the whole lot. Can't wait for you to join me. Whenever I take on a new challenge or a new adventure, I'm always trying to find that line between being equal parts terrified and excited. So all the way along, I'm gonna be speaking to the young women of Britain about doing things that scare them. And I'm gonna be saying to them, girls, you've gotta put yourself outside your comfort zone. It's gonna feel messy, it's gonna be uncomfortable, you're gonna be filled with self-doubt, but that is when you truly see what you're made of and you learn and you grow. So I've come to the running lab to speak to Christian who has been helping me out for the past year because I am now just a few weeks away from starting this very long barefoot run. So really what we want to do is make sure that the forces acting on your legs are really, really low. Yeah. And so what we've done here is we've had a look at you running and one of the things that we can see is that you're quite bouncy. Got you. And so for an ultra distance, we don't want too many forces acting on the legs. That's amazing. I can actually, I mean, I can visually see the differences as well, but I know that that hasn't happened in just one run. That must have been hundreds of iterations to try and bring it down. There have been loads of moments when I thought this wasn't possible and when I was out training in New Zealand over the winter I'd be hobbling along for five kilometres not even being able to make that but I've had to get my head in the game and I've had to shove aside all of those thoughts that make me believe it can't be done and just ignore them because that is why I want to talk to these young girls. I want to say to them there is so much potential in you and you have absolutely no idea what you're capable of until you try. <laughs> 